one thing that has been proven study after study is human beings are very bad at timing the market. In fact, I would go from bad to horrifically bad at timing the market. We're hardwired to buy when we should sell and sell when we should buy. The whole logic to this is what you should do instead, rather than thinking of on off and thinking of it as a light switch, you really have to think about it as dollar cost averaging, always investing a little bit over time. That way you're going to share in that upside over time. At the end of the day, if you look at any stock chart over a long period of time, it always moves up and to the right. You want to have exposure to that. One of the ways to mitigate that is to think about, okay, how much do I have in equities versus fixed income? Typically, they move in opposite directions. Obviously, we've had some unique things happening recently with rates going up. So the stock market has gone down and debt has gone down. But ultimately, you want to have some exposure to each. There's different like heuristics or rules of thumb out there. For example, when I took the CFA program, there's a heuristic out there that's actually works fairly well. There's the 60-40, which worked horribly during COVID, but then has come back since. But there's another piece of logic, which I've found to actually be fairly good, which is take the number 100 minus your age. Let's say you're 30 years old, 100 minus 30. That means 70% should be allocated towards equities, 30% allocated towards fixed income. The other way you could think about it is whatever your age is, that should be in fixed income. And one minus that or 100 minus that should be in equities. That way, as you get older, your exposure to equities decreases because equities tend to be more volatile. And that's how you can protect yourself. If you like what you see, subscribe and share.